What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Caesar, and we are talking about Bitcoin Cash. Shout out to the Dragon Riders in the House of the Dragon. You guys, it's happening. It's happening right now. Um, it looks so damn good. I got to say, I'm, I'm pretty happy with, with the results that we're getting right now. Uh, don't want to toot the horn too much, right? Right? They might hear me. <laughs> uh, but it does look like we're breaking out of this inverse head and shoulders pattern. Uh, been calling this now probably, I think it was since the 15th of July. Um, I had a few of you commenting saying, good job calling the low, and I appreciate that. Thank you. But I did not call the low. Um, down here, I was calling for prices to move up, but then afterwards, I was calling for them to move down. And, you know, as we as we got up here in this area, I, I shifted that view, and it was specifically, I want to say it was either, maybe it was the 14th or it might have been the 15th of July. I, I can't remember specifically, but one of those days, uh, I flipped bullish and started to identify this as what it is, which is an inverse head and shoulders pattern. And we're breaking out of it right now, you know? So it's not about being right. It's not about being wrong, you know? Um, I happen to get this one right, but I've definitely been wrong before, right? Uh, and I will be wrong again. That's just that's just how it is. But from a high here to a low here, I'll tell you what though, it does feel better being right than it does being wrong, right? But uh, looking at the fibs, right? Classic kind of maneuver, 382 to 236, we're breaking out at a minimum from this perspective alone. I would expect that we do go to the 61869 zone at $507 to 561. Where are we gonna go? We're probably gonna go here to this relative area of resistance or to our measure move of the pattern itself, which from a low to a high point has a measure move above the zone at about at about 575 and i would anticipate that if we're in the midst of this range up here that we'd actually likely tip the 786 perhaps we close at this zone but i would think that we actually tip the 786 which is just shy of 600 dollars um that'd be my personal expectation you guys we're in the middle of our next move up right now right like right here how we consolidated for so long and then this week is what started us up. We had two weeks where we chilled and then we continued to move up, right? But this is like, this is the week that started it right here. Where this was the week that started it here. We're, we're already a month deep into this next move up right now. And it's just beginning, it's just beginning. For anybody who's wondering, is it a good time to buy Bitcoin Cash? Unfortunately, the time to buy below $400 is probably behind us and set behind us forever more. It'll never, never again be there. And I don't mean never again as in just for this cycle. I mean never again. You will never again be able to buy Bitcoin Cash below $400. I don't think it's, I, I don't think it's going to happen. I think we're done with $400 forever, for real this time. Um, it could happen. You know, we could pull back, but I just, I kind of doubt it at this point, um, especially seeing the breakout taking place the way it is. Um, is it a good time to buy Bitcoin Cash right now, you know, we're still below the 0.5, which means that we are below 50% of this move so far. So yeah, you're, you know, you're on the, the winning side of that, uh, of this overall move, even if we're down, you know, even if we're at six, the 61869 area, even if we were all the way at the 886, I think it's still a perfectly acceptable area to buy. Um, because I, I really think that as the cycle continues, we're going to see prices achieve uh, highs at thirteen thousand to twenty three thousand dollars, maybe even beyond that. The reason why I'm so excited on Bitcoin Cash right now, you guys, is that from a high to a low, all time high to all time low perspective. Not only is it an all time high to all time low, but this is a all time consolidation phase high to low perspective, right? It's the it's the high to low of this overall consolidation phase, which is why even though yes, it's two cycles, it's not the last cycle, but it's the previous cycles uh, high to low. I think it's relevant now why we're finding significance on the 382 here, here, the 236 here. Um, and we probably will find significance on the 886 and the 786 going forward. And why I also believe we'll see these targets being hit at 13 to 23,000. 53,000 is a notable target. I don't think it's gonna happen, but it is something worth mentioning. It's not something that I talk about in every single video, but I, I genuinely, I'm not just saying that to get anybody's hopes up. Genuinely speaking, if somebody asked me if somebody, I always say this because I think it's the best way to put how I feel about it. If somebody walked up to me and said, I will bet you $1,000 that Bitcoin Cash reaches $53,000, I would not bet against them. If someone told me, I'll bet you $1,000 that it doesn't reach $53,000, I wouldn't bet on it either, right? I, I, I don't know. It could happen. It really could happen. It's crazy times that we live in with crypto. And it's crazy times for Bitcoin Cash in itself. 
when I'm talking about the high to low of this consolidation phase, I literally mean the consolidation phase as a whole, right? From the high, all time high to this high here, you can see that we've connected each time with this very perfectly. Um, however, this is the, uh, the longest amount of time since touching this line that we've gone without having a sizable pullback, right? Both of these times we dropped, here we dropped 76.6%, here we dropped 86%, and this was in the course of one, two, three, four weeks. This is in the course of one, two, three weeks. Here, from our high to our low, which was one, two, three, four weeks, we only dropped 60%. Still a significant drop from the relative high, don't get me wrong, but dramatically less than anything that we've seen so far. If we have this reversal, which I think that we are, if, if we have this move up, breaking out of this inverse head and shoulders pattern, and we see the, the expected move, the measure move target being hit, that would take us above, not, not above the trend line, no, but it would take us above this 618, right? And when we get above the golden ratio, especially on the first attempt or the second attempt, when we get above this zone, um, whether it happens like this, whether we move up here, then move down, and then move up to our target area, whether we just shred through it and move up there immediately, however it, however it takes place. If we break through this zone on the first or second attempt, the likelihood of seeing this zone goes up tremendously. When I say up, like I mean like 70 to 80% likely that we're gonna see that happen. Um, almost always is that the case, right? And if we see that happen, then yes, we will be breaking out of this consolidation zone. We'll be breaking out of this uh, consolidation phase that we've been trapped under since the beginning of time for Bitcoin Cash, right? Um, and, come on now, that's not what I wanted. This high to low here, tying up with this high to low here. The 1272 to the 1618 lines up very well with the golden ratio, right, of this overall zone the golden ratio here at the 6.9, the 1272 lining up with the 6.18, it just makes sense that that would be our next area, our next logical area to go to. Um, and absolutely, we could go beyond that. Absolutely, we could. Uh, the reason why I think that we could go beyond that is if we take this relative high here to the relative low, we moved all the way up to our 200 area right there on this fib. With that same kind of idea, if we take the relative high to the relative low, we again moved up to our 200 area right there. That's that two, that red line there. And if we took this high here to this low here, our 200 area is all the way up at $1,700, $1,800, which actually uh, from the high to low would be at our 786 as well. So um, whether, whether we top off in the golden ratio zone, the golden extension zone, or we make our way all the way up to the 786 fib, the previous cycle's high, um, you know, whatever, whatever it is that we, that we do, it's gonna be phenomenal. It's gonna break us out of this consolidation phase and I don't think it's gonna be the end. I do think that we have a lot more to go uh, as the cycle continues. BCH, BTC, we can talk about that right now, right? Enough, enough, uh, I don't know what to call it. I know, I know what I wanna call it, but I'm not gonna call it that. Enough, enough stroking the, uh, the Bitcoin cash ego, let's say that. Um, I know that there's been a lot of conversation, a lot of talk about, uh, the Mt. Gox situation with people selling their Bitcoins or, or selling their Bitcoin caches to buy Bitcoin, right? Because Bitcoin cash did not exist before the Mt. Gox hack, right? So that means that after the hard fork happened, all the people that were holding BTC in their wallets on Mt. Gox, they also got an equivalent amount of BCH and people were worried about the BCH selling off. Um, but shout out to the Bitcoin cash podcast for anybody that's watching. Uh, they, they were making a video and it was actually a video that I, I, uh, let me see, I, I talked about, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go to it real quick, hold on, YouTube, let's see. I didn't like talk about it in great detail, it was only like a three minute video that I talked about, but let's see. It was, let's see, videos. I think it was this video. Yes, it was this video. Uh, Jeremy here talks about how 
the math works this way, right? So for every, for, for every going back to the Mount Gox situation, right? For just, just to kind of not speaking exactly what he said, but I, it's not going to be ver verbatim, but I'm going to do my best. Um, what he said in that video, which I thought was really interesting, is that Bitcoin itself, BTC, right now is worth about $70,000. Bitcoin Cash is worth $438. And the amount of people on Mt. Gox that support Bitcoin over Bitcoin Cash is definitely greater, right? The amount of people that support Bitcoin Cash over Bitcoin is there, but it's probably lesser. But nonetheless, it is there. Imagine how many people are selling their Bitcoin Cash, right? How, however much that might be. They're going to be able to buy $440 worth of Bitcoin now per Bitcoin Cash that they sell. Whereas the people who are doing the opposite, who are selling their Bitcoin for Bitcoin Cash, because there are a lot of big blockers, Bitcoin cashers, dragon riders who believe in Bitcoin Cash over BTC, they're going to be selling $70,000, 60 to $70,000 worth of Bitcoin and more as these uh, releases, uh, as, as people get their their uh, coins back from Mt. Gox, right? Because it's, it's not all done. It's going to continue happening, I'm pretty sure. Um, as this continue ha continues to happen, if people are swapping their BCH to BTC, that's not going to pump the price of BTC, right? It might stagnate the price of Bitcoin Cash in a sense that they're selling the Bitcoin Cash. But for every the way that the way that Jeremy put it here was that for every one percent of Bitcoin Cash people who are selling their Bitcoin or Bitcoin Cash people who are selling their Bitcoin to buy Bitcoin Cash, it will take ninety nine percent of the people who are who are selling their Bitcoin, right? So, like, so, so out of all the people on Mt. Gox, if 1% of them decides to sell BTC for BCH, it would take 99% of all the people who hold uh, their BTC and are selling BCH for BTC to contribute the same difference like in money, right? The same like, uh, like I don't know what word to use, the same, same impact from a financial standpoint um, so I just I thought that that's pretty cool because again Bitcoin itself is worth more than Bitcoin cash so if anybody's trading their Bitcoin for Bitcoin cash they're, they're gonna have a lot more buying power to pump the price it doesn't matter uh, if if someone let's say someone gets 10 Bitcoin caches and they sell all those Bitcoin caches uh, and then buy Bitcoin they're not gonna be able to buy 10 Bitcoins if they sell 10 Bitcoin caches but if someone has 10 Bitcoins and they sell those for Bitcoin Cash, they'll be able to buy a lot more than 10 Bitcoin Cashes. You know what I mean? Bitcoin Cash could go up 10, 10x right now, and they'd still be able to buy a lot more than 10 Bitcoins, uh, Bitcoin Cashes, right? So I thought that that was a very interesting point that they made, um, that the Mt. Gox thing would actually be better. For the, the Mt. Gox selling off would actually be better for Bitcoin Cash than it would be worse. Um, but that was all inspired by this thought right here, looking at the BCH BTC chart. And again, shout out to the Bitcoin Cash podcast, you guys. If you're not following them, definitely give them a follow. They're great. Uh, they do they do really good stuff. I'm I like to compare myself. I'm the technical guy. They're the fundamental kind of guys for Bitcoin Cash. You know, they, they're very exclusive to Bitcoin Cash. I talk about all kinds of things, right? But uh, they, if you want to educate yourself about like what's going on with the Bitcoin Cash ecosystem, anything that's new, anything that might not be new but you aren't aware of, it's definitely a good channel to follow. Uh, shout out to the boys. Um, but the BCH BTC, what, what made me think of that was imagine all the people because the Mt. Gox unlock happened in July, right? It was like this week right here, literally at the bottom because the first week of, of July, I'm pretty sure is whenever it got unlocked, right? First week right here at the bottom versus Bitcoin. You've got all these Bitcoin people selling their Bitcoin cash at literally the lowest point versus Bitcoin. <laughs> like it's it's just... It, it makes me smile. I don't know. It makes me smile. I, I think it's kind of funny because I do think that uh, the price versus Bitcoin is going to continue to rise. I think that not only are we about to break this consolidation phase versus the U.S. dollar, but we're about to break this consolidation phase versus Bitcoin and see for the first time in history new uh, a, a new trend versus Bitcoin, a higher high, higher low trend which we've just never seen before, right? Bitcoin Cash throughout its existence has only moved down. And I say this every time I compare this chart is that uh, that's the one thing that the Bitcoin people have over the Bitcoin Cash people is that, yes, absolutely, you can't deny it. If you like Bitcoin Cash, you still can't deny it. It's been doing this versus Bitcoin its whole life. If you don't like it, that's the truth. Look at it. it it's literally what, it, what it's been doing its whole life. But we're about to do something different. It's about to be a new trend. 
it's about to break out of its consolidation phase. It's about, that's, that's not what I meant to draw, I meant to draw it like this. It's about to, where is it, right here. It's about to flip its monthly ribbon bullish for its first time ever. A lot of big things are going on, you guys. A lot of big things are going on. And that's all to say, like, part of the reason why I think that, yes, even though this would be the expected area, 922 to 1266 would be the expected area, I think it's more than possible that we could see this area or beyond by the end of the year, genuinely speaking. So uh, good job. Here we are, 441. Bitcoin Cash loves the way that I'm talking about it. I love the way that I'm talking about it too. I hope you guys did. Uh, hit that like button, subscribe if you want to see more content like this. We're going there, guys. This is this is a breakout move. It won't be like this forever, right? Our, our road to $1,200, $1,700 from here, and then obviously beyond, it's not going to be like this forever. Um, we'll probably move up to that $500 to $600 zone and top off for a little bit there. Um, I would love it if we just kept running, but that's probably not going to happen, right? Even on this run here, where we went from 235 all the way up to 720, it was anything but a straight line, right? It felt like it at times. It definitely felt like it at times, but you gave it back at times, moved sideways for a little bit, moved sideways, and then you continued to move up. But we are absolutely in the middle of a breakout move, and I don't think it stops here. I think we've got about another 100 bucks or so to go, maybe 150 bucks. We'll see. Uh, but hit that like button. Subscribe if you want to see more content like this. Thank you all for being here, and I'm, I'm excited, man. I'm real excited. It's cool. It's cool. Take it easy. Bye-bye.